Alrighty guys, by request I'm going to give you a quick walk around here um, of the little semi truck. I know I did this in uh, another video when I was showing all the tractors and that, but I never really did a, a dedicated video on this truck, so I'm going to kind of give you a little more information on it. Basically, uh, we've had this for, I'm going to say, geez, about 16 years or so. My dad got this before, I wasn't even a teenager, I don't think, when he got this, and uh, a friend of his did the cheap metal work and the framework on it, and uh, paint work and whatnot. We put a drive line in it, and years after that, my wife and I took it to tractor shows around Western New York, and we'd just cruise around in it and, you know, basically have a good time. I'll show you a quick picture here so you can see it wasn't always this, uh, it's a little haggard, it's a little long in a tooth, if you will, but basically it's just a uh, channel frame. I'm walking around over here. It uses a channel frame, and uh, the transaxle is out of a Massey Ferguson tractor, garden tractor. It's a four-speed. Uh, got dual tires and uh, spacers were made out of cut-down barrel, steel barrels, and it's got wheel weights on it. Um, fully functioning lights, brake lights, turn signals, running lights. All the linkage, everything, it shifts and drives from the cab. You know, it shifts. It's got a ball joint there in the shifter. Um, Linkage for the brakes, linkage for the cable for the clutch, cable for the throttle. Everything's actuated, ac activated, or you know, ran from in the cab in the driver's seat. Whew. It's just cold out here. Very cold. I'm shivering. Um, uses Anheuser kegs for uh, fake fuel tanks. They're not the actual fuel tank. Just sat underneath the seat at one time. We've got a Kohler, a 10 horse Kohler on there now, and uh, my plan was originally to uh, to do some work on this truck and repower it with uh, something different but well that didn't happen it's been on hold since uh, like everything else is since October but as you can see it's uh, it's needing some work it needs some help the insides even messier than the outside is I think we had a family of spiders or something going on in here but safety glass push out glass and uh, he just framed it the entire cab is framed with angle iron and then it's got cheap metal screwed to it all electronics, uh, turn signal, four-way switch, headlight switch, a little distribution block, and a bird's nest of wiring down there. But at one time, this sucker was uh, was really the cat's meow. It steers with uh, a Dodge K car rack and pinion. It was actually a powered rack. It's just got the lines cut to it. But I can show you a quick picture of how that looks here because I'm not going to try to crawl underneath this today. That's the rest of the cab. Uh, the shifter's there. Obviously, like I said, it operates just like a regular vehicle would. Gas pedal, brake pedal, clutch. And uh, I would at some point when we do get to go through this, um, have a seat cover made for it, you know, a little vinyl padded bench seat for it because it is kind of uncomfortable to drive around in. But overall, there it is. Um, needs new mirrors, the mirrors are both cracked. And these I had gotten at a garage sale somewhere, I think. It's got electric air horns on the roof. Um, I think I was given a man at Alexander Tractor Show in New York gave those to me because it didn't have any horns on it. I do plan, I work in a sheet metal shop and I'd like to uh, skirt the entire bottom of the sucker with diamond tread all the way around the cab. Kind of cover up some of those holes and just make it a little flashier, you know. And uh, I've been working on some ideas for a grill there for in the middle, something to break up the not near the front end but I think that pretty much covers it uh, it uses the front axle is just a square stock or square tubing axle and it uses garden tractor spindles um, there it is guys it, it needs a lot of work it's definitely uh, seen better days and at some point in time I really do hope to get to it but for now it's just parked here alrighty guys as always, I do appreciate you watching, and I'll stay warm.